Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this case, I'm going to show you how you can create some exterior realistic render with Enscape about this house. I downloaded this file from the 3dwarehouse.com. So if you want to download it, only search exterior design and you can see it. So let's get to work. I'm going to start my job with the Enscape environment and very simple and easy. I only want to click on the uh, save frame in here and use the two point perspective for my projection view. So as you can see now we have better view about this house and I need these leaves and trees for my render and shot. So for this reason I'm going to start my job with the visual setting and reduce the field of view to focus on my target a little bit than the past. I need more sky more house and all of the things must be balanced on my camera so 72 degree right now can be a good number for my job i want to see all the details about this house some plaster and cement facade design for this house is really good and the color it depends on you so now i want to work with the uh, colors but i don't know how for this reason first of all i need to set my main light with the uh, sunlight so as you can see, when I hold shift and right click, I can change the uh, sun direction and time of the day, very simple and easy. So I need something near to the morning, something like that, for example, like this one. And hold Ctrl U or I on my keyboard to see the best result for my job and shot. So as you can see, something like that can be really wonderful. We have this water reflection in here and the facade design is something like that. So I want to minimize the Enscape in here, move in the SketchUp environment, open the uh, Enscape material editor and in this place we have the uh, paint bucket. So I only want to click on the paint bucket in here, select and detect my main material in this place and it's something about plaster number 6. So. I will change the uh, brightness of it a little bit to the 100 and at the back color I want to remove the tint color from the uh, dark gray to the uh, white smoke. Now you can see the final result in here and it's totally not bad but it can be better. For this reason you can change the tint color to the Gainsbro and reduce the image fade to the 88%. You can see the changes immediately in the Enscape window, so you can use the uh, white color for your main color in this material. So, intensity uh, not shown in this place because we use the sunlight. For more displacement show, you can use the uh, night render and spotlights like the artificial lights. So, I can reduce the uh, texture normal map or remove it. But I want to hold it for 166% and it can be give me some realistic result right now. So roughness is good, Metallica is good and Specular is acceptable. So at the uh, other type of settings in the uh, SketchUp environment I can look around, click on this water in here and I can change the uh, color of the water to the uh, for example the sky blue. You can see the changes a little bit, but maybe it's not too much. Uh, for some changes to show that this place is the water, you can change the height of the waves a little bit, and you can see some refractive results in here. So 4% and the scale is about 4% can be good for my job right now. I can change it every time I want. For example, something about 16 and scale is about 16 again. Something like that can be much better and realistic. So everything is done for me right now and time for the rendering. So I'm going to enter to the Enscape environment and in this place we have some big tree behind this house. So I can select it and rescale it a little bit. To see what happened now it's much better and realistic so we are in here so I can change the uh, direction of these trees estimately like that for example something like this 
I can move this tree a little bit to the downside so I can use these edges to have some result like this and this tree is a little bit too shadow fixer for us so I can rescale it a little bit and move it to this place something like that and you can see the changes right now so I can change the uh, HDRI source in the Enscape visual setting so I can click on the visual setting and this window will appear for us at the uh, skybox you can change the source of the horizon line from the white ground to the uh, for example mountains or you can change it to the white cubes it completely depends on you but source completely affects your sunlight GI calculation so be careful I want to use the for example white ground in here and it's totally good for me the cloud setting is really important for this reason I'm going to maximize the Enscape environment for myself and play with the density variety and Cyrus amount so as you can see when we reduce these options in here we have much clearer sky and it's completely wonderful so latitude and latitude only works when the density is turns on but now it turns off and the parameter of it is the zero percent so atmosphere not useful some brightness look at this body and the building in here when i increase the sun brightness i can see some type of results like that and it's totally not realistic because you override your render with overheated sun brightness power so i think something about 76 percent is really good and normal night sky is not important but we have shadow sharpness in here look at these places in here as you can see when i increase the shadow sharpness to the 100 i can see the changes completely sharp and it can be good but Maybe it's a little bit too uh, fuzzy for this render. So I think something about 44% can be useful and normal. Artificial light brightness right now not important. So I don't touch it. Ambient brightness related to the interior lighting. When I increase it, interior of the house will balance with the exterior lighting and something about 78 percent can be really useful it's like a hyper light in lumion but low version of it and wind is zero so at the image bar i can click on it turn on the auto contrast and now enscape will fix all of the lightings automatically at the color temperature i can use some warm temp or cold colors i prefer to use the cold colors something about 9600 Kelvin and the saturation can be 102 percent so motion blur is not useful because we don't create any type of animation lens flare is not useful too so i will turn it off bloom option is not useful and chromatic abbreviation look at these edges in here as you can see we have some on sharp edges for example when i click on it i can see these things in here so for fixing this problem you can turn off the chromatic abbreviation and now you can see some sharp edges for yourself so it's only about the a few tips in rendering about the uh landscape so it completely depends on you all right something like that can be good for us and Vignit is about 8% and main bar is something about styles and camera shot so for the camera shot I can turn off the auto exposure and re-exposure my render automatically as you can see it completely changed at the one time and suddenly so it's not realistic always use the auto exposure if you are amateur or basic so i turn on the auto exposure and check it up 
and 53% is really good for our job. So I will move this window in here, close it, play with my camera to reach to the best result of my job. I can hold right click on my cursor and orbit my job and something like this can be really wonderful. So I can re-exposure it again, something like that, for example, 53. But in this places, we have two dark shadows. For fixing this problem, you can come to the image bar, turn off the auto contrast, and set the highlights and shadows manually. For example, when I reduce the shadows, I can see some better result in here. But maybe it's only fix this place and this places will be destroyed. So I prefer to use the auto contrast and for fixing this problem I can light it up with the sphere light. But right now maybe it's not necessary. So I can play with the sunlight to fix for example these problems. Something like that. Change my sun position. Now it's much better. So at the uh, visual setting, I'm going to increase the rendering quality to the ultra mode. But before I do this job, I want to focus on my target. So I will turn on the depth of field, uncheck the autofocus. Now we have some flu and blur image in here. So when I play with the focal point, some shiny line I can see in my real time rendering. I can turn it on the uh, facade and edges. So. We have some important element in this render and it's related to this woman. So you can focus on this woman and the building together. So I can play with the focal point and now it's much better. So something about 17% can be really good and 11 meter distance of the lens of the camera and the focus place is really good. So. We don't need any type of outline, but now I want to increase the rendering quality to the ultra mode to see what happened. As you can see, all the lighting calculation will improve for us. And the result is something like that. And it's really good. So I think time for the rendering. And I want to render this shot for you. For the rendering and final sip, you only need to click on the screenshot button in here. Click on the desktop and save it as the JPG. In escape filing is not important, so I will click on the save option. As you can see, it takes under than 13 minutes to create these type of realistic renders in Enscape. The result of the Enscape can be equal with the V-Ray, Lumion or other type of rendering engines. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And your support is important element for continuing this job. So as you can see, the quality is wonderful. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for your watching and goodbye.